somebody's fighting to keep a foot up. I think that didn't want to come out. Well, it wanted to come out. It didn't want to stay in the deck and be shuffled. Somebody had an uh, issue with staying still. Trouble staying still. Restless. Somebody's restless. Somebody doesn't want to be cut off. And that was really <laughs> true. So. Okay. Alright. So. And that's it. Somebody was having an issue with staying still. Somebody that was. Somebody's restless. And the reason why it's restless because it had trouble coming out of the deck the first time. I don't know if that's the part that got cut out or not because it was on for like two minutes and then it cut out and then I put it back on. So, um, <laughs> this one I was shuffling and it was like sticking to my finger to my yeah it was sticking to my finger and it wanted to fall out but it wouldn't fall out so it wouldn't let go so it had trouble like hanging on trying to hang on you know um not wanting to let go um trying not to fall so somebody is like restless and then when i saw it drop out of the deck when it actually fell onto the floor it drops and i'm watching it as it spiral back and forth back and forth so that really confirmed like the restlessness that i was talking about okay and on the top of the deck we also have the page of source in the reverse somebody could receive some negative information a message something that wasn't right um for them so they're like restless right now um don't want to be cut out somebody's being cut out of something Somebody could work in a, a food chain, a food chain, um, some sort of a, a takeout place, you know, somewhere where um, it has to be takeout, you can't eat and it's too small. pizza shop is not like a regular pizza shop it's like something as like um a little Caesars or something you know where it's like basically only standing room for your customers to come in and then leave out with their you know pizza to leave and stuff um you know it's not it wouldn't be like a pizza hut or something this is like if it, like i said if it's a pizza shop it's something small like a little Caesars it's not like a family owned business it's not like um you know, something where towards you're actually able to eat in and enjoy, you know, inside the place. It's somewhere where towards you just come paying up. Um, so this could be like, um, for somebody that's working in like a food industry that's like, uh, just come and go. You know, maybe somebody resonates with this message. Um, they're probably having trouble. Um, they're with something. Um, afraid to be getting let out of work, um, getting off of work, laid off of work, but laid off of work, yeah. Alright, so somebody is, um, underhanded in a situation. Okay, there's um, something going on. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So this is like a sneaky card, right? 
and this is somebody that will be obviously seeing Kiva, and the reverse is somebody that's like really tippy toeing around you. Like, they're trying to hide their shadiness. So either some, somebody's trying to hide their shadiness with something, um, being restless, afraid to be cut out of something, or laid off from somewhere. Okay, somebody could be getting fired, maybe. Um, it looks like being sneaky and restless over um, some sort of activity that was going on. Okay, um, could have been... Could have been caught um, taking things from a business. Um, that wasn't theirs. Okay. Taking something home that they weren't supposed to. Giving away stuff. But this is like fighting off people. Fighting back. Being restless. Somebody did something in order to get this. Because somebody's about to lose a, a job. Or they already did. And they're having trouble staying afloat. Maybe that's why they're restless. I mean, like I'm just saying, that's like one of the scenarios. It's not solely just for somebody that's working in like a food establishment. But that's what I was thinking about. That. I don't know. We have Empress in Reverse, the Hierophant in Reverse, the Three of Swords in the Outright. Alright, so we have endings, okay? Endings for a Empress in Reverse, something that's not traditional. Um, somebody that is uh, egotistical. They don't want to do anything, okay? Um, this, this person, you know, they run off of, do you know who I am? Okay? This person uses a uh, divinity, okay? Um, what I mean by that is they try to play the card as an empress, okay? As this. But they're in the reverse when they came out. So this person is somebody that doesn't know how to gain, doesn't know how to build, doesn't know how to do much. Um, but they know how to act. They know how to they know how to act as if, you know, um, but this is coming to an end because if we have the three of swords, somebody found out that somebody wasn't, um, of the divine, okay, they found out about sneaky nature with the empress, uh, energy in the reverse, okay, this empress is in the reverse, you know, she could have been in the upright at some given point, but somewhere she lost herself and she forgot who the hell she was, even though she was telling everybody who the fuck she was, and was doing things that were not very tasteful to put her in the situation. Alright. Third party situation. Okay, that's the energy that we have out because all these cards are sideways. Okay. Third party situation. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So this situation right here, third parties, this could be co-workers, family, friends, uh, sp spouses, you know, partners, whatever. Okay, so this is the energy that's um, being held within this reading right here. Okay, so this is like a third party situation um, where people were kind of collaborating with one another to be shady, to... to act in a shady manner towards another okay um so it's like you know three to one you know type of energy here you know three three four of these people knew about what was going on but one of these people didn't you know this king of pentacles energy that's on the board okay somebody could have been being sneaky maybe that's who's uh Somebody could have, this Empress in Reverse could have actually did something that was unfavorable to a King of Pentacles. Because his energy's in the deck. He's not. His energy's in the deck. 
okay and it's within this third party situation okay this is this is the stuff that the reading is letting me know exactly what's going on here we have the ten of pentacles somebody was after somebody's um wealth okay finances um they were trying to uh not do the work but jump on the wheel okay and then we have gifts yeah they want it all right so these people that were after this uh king of pentacles it looks like going against a king of pentacles in some sort of way um it looks like they were going after him uh, due to his ten of pentacles and his seven of cups. They seen that this uh, individual, okay, had a lot, okay. This was something that was out of reach, okay, for them. This, this type of energy that he carried, okay. This could have been a wealthy man like i said it's the king of pentacles and he has ten of pentacles has everything so this is like um fulfillment in his life you know plus the seven of cups so not only is he you know um wealthy and well off within his finances or towards this individual he knows how to stay stable he knows how to actually manage okay his money his uh, property, whatever it is that he has, that those pinnacles are that are helping him get through life, he knows how to manage them without any help, okay? He has it all. He has the family, he has the celebrations, he has the fulfillment of everything that he wants within his life. Plus, he has gifts, okay? This could be a very talented individual, okay, that um, knows how to do multiple things. Basically, this person is a... Uh, you know he, he's too far away for people to reach okay so people can't really get to him can't really touch him and um they didn't really like this so they did some something to bring him down okay and like i said the king of pentacles these cards are just cards king is a king and queen is queen but the energy is the energy so you know take it however it resonates for you you can flip it around um but i do feel as though this is a masculine that i am talking about right now so this is a a dude okay that somebody was trying to take advantage of we have 10 12 54 one o'clock 10 could be significant for somebody 10 is a uh, completion well nine is completion 10 is uh like closed out and into beginnings Okay, and 11 would be your gateway, your doorway basically, your own corner, so, so what's going on? This could have... Yeah, this was a third party situation. Um, the reason why somebody's restless is because they were um, they were being sneaky when they were coming at this individual. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So yeah, they um, they were trying to shut somebody down. Um, you had the Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is not this is not a good like sexual encounter at all. Somebody could have had an encounter with this uh, person purposely, trying to put them out of commission. Let's see what that's about. That sounds like some scary shit. How the fuck? Normally, I see some iffy shit like that within like a a night energy or something with the wands and everything because of the fire and shit that it carries when it comes out when I'm drawn to it but the Ace of Wands are reverse can me the shit the fuck yeah 
that's funny how this shit comes on too. So somebody could have actually been like trying to really work up on somebody. Um, making themselves a little bit more uh, appealing than what is actually within. Okay? Than what they carry open. And then, um, they were like really really pushing themselves in there purposely and I'm guessing it's just yeah this is a toxic situation somebody was being really toxic ah shit yeah we had the devil energy and that was right there with the third party situation and the king of pentacles okay so this is how it came out if you can see you know what why am I moving first look at this that's how it came out Okay, so this is a toxic sexual encounter. Somebody was trying to keep somebody um, not just selfish, but you know, they wanted somebody to turn their back on any and everybody and everything. Not walking into new beginnings, celebrations, or anything after this encounter. Cherry is in the reverse. This is not moving forward. This is going into a battle. Having some sort of a battle with something. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Um, keeping busy, working. Five of Cups in reverse. It's an Emperor in the reverse. Okay, so this King of Pentacles could have actually been this Emperor in, rever in reverse, okay? And this the thing. Um, the Emperor is in reverse. So this is somebody that's very, you know, like I said, and you got that with the, um, King of Pentacles, this person's a uh, little ego driven, okay? Uh, controlling, uh, you know, this this person lacks remorse, okay? They, they, don't, they don't have any type of regret. They don't have remorse for anything. They don't have empathy. Um, they can act as if, just like this energy on the board that came for them acted as if. You know, we have the Emperor in reverse, and we also have the Empress in the reverse. They're both in reverse. But these these individuals, they are not connected. They're connected, but they're not, like, together together. There's something keeping them apart. I don't know what it is, but whatever it was, he... This masculine was showing up as a king of pentacles in this deck. And that king of pentacles, okay, that's the energy that he was coming up in. He didn't show himself as an emperor. He showed himself as a king of pentacles. So, it was a lot hidden about this masculine that these people didn't know. But somebody possibly knew, and this is how and why the third party situation came to play. Alright, and it was all thought out too because like I said, the devil is here and it fell upon the third party situation and celebrations and stuff like that and the king of pentacles. So basically, these people knew what they were doing because they knew what he was doing. Somebody found out something and decided to give him a taste of his own medicine. But um, I think they might have used somebody who didn't have um, the best of uh, the best of uh, intentions in the long run for an individual. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're not going to stay within this energy too much longer. It's 1954 here. That could be significant for somebody. This 
funny how the secrets just came right here on the deck, but we're not going to use that because it didn't fall out. They just lifted it up. These are secrets that did not want to be revealed, and here goes the one card. Somebody's not happy. Four of Cups. Somebody is not happy right now. Um, more than likely, they're not happy because uh, they're looking at the, you know, the cup they're being given, but um, they're not satisfied with it. You know, they already have their three cups. They're being given a fourth cup, but the fourth cup they're get, that they're being given, they don't want. It's what they went after, but it's not what they want. Alright, so somebody's very unhappy and being a very, very, very frumpy sourpuss right now. And, well, I don't want to say about it. <laughs> Just say, be careful. Like, um, the term, you know, um, be mindful, you know, treat people how you want to be treated because that's the only thing that's going to happen back to you, really, in all actuality. So that's the reading for tonight. Somebody could be having like, um, fast heart races, okay? My, I took a deep breath and all of a sudden it was like, <sighs> so somebody could actually have like that lightheaded uh, type of um, speediness going on, okay, or somebody could be speeding or something, um, you know, after they find out some information, that's not going to be the best for them, so be very mindful, be very careful, don't do anything stupid, and always remember, you know, just take care of yourself, and no matter what happens, always be you, and just love how you are, and be happy with yourself, and just, once you know better, do better, and don't spiral downwards, you know, climb up. So, have a good night. <laughs> Bye.